Thank you, Lanka. I feel really excited to talk with you, sir. I'm Kun Sapturapan. I represent Home Net Thailand Association. Our association is a worker organization. It's, uh, there are about 5,000 members. Uh, the ladies sit next to me ask what is uh, informal workers. So I want to tell a bit about uh, home-based workers. We, you heard about waste picker and home-based work uh, and street vendors. But uh, for home-based workers, sometimes uh, you overlook and you don't know who they are because they use their home at their workplace. Uh, there are two types of home-based workers or the car worker and home workers. For home worker, they, uh, they are usually they're given the raw material and they pay for piece. They are subcontracted worker. And for all the car worker, they buy their own materials and they sell uh, their finished products. In general, uh, you can see it uh, everywhere, especially in Indonesia. So. If you want to buy handicap or batik products, huh? they are all made from home-based workers. And in general, there are more women than men. And they get very low pays and they work really long working and we have no social protection or less asset to social protection provided by the uh, government. I want to give some uh, brief information that uh, according to ILO, the home-based worker was account for as much as 18% of the urban employment in India and 25% of urban informal employment in several African countries. And uh, they contribute to the, so the economy of the city because uh, they buy the raw materials and they also sell their product and they pay for the value added tax and they they are in the economic cycles. But normally, uh, in Bangkok, the city where I'm, I came from, home-based workers used to talk with us, used to tell us that they don't know or don't understand the role of the city that uh, play to support them. They, when they have any problem, they don't think about the loan of the city. Because there is no tangible plan and policy at city level to improve their quality of life, <coughs> how can the city support them? We have one example at uh, Home in Thailand worked a long time in, the, in Bangkok. In Bangkok, many of the home-based workers uh, they stay in relocation area in the outskirts because they are forced to move from the inner of the uh, Bangkok. Normally, the government will provide them housing project, but it's not enough. They have to suckle with employment. Not only housing, but employment is very important. And we found out that uh, they need good transportation because they have to travel to get the job or to buy the raw material and to sell their products. And because they stay in the outskirts of Bangkok, uh, we find out that uh, not only for their employment but for their family at the same time, for their children to go to school or for their husband to go to work. Uh, if they have to go, if our member have to go to buy products or to send to drop their finished products, you know that they have to lose at least two days of their income because they cannot work at that day and at the same time the transportation cost is very high. So what we do for them, you know that uh, in terms of public transportation is a big issue that uh, we cannot manage by our own. So to deal with this issue, we organize a policy forums to dialogue with the city official and Bangkok mass transit authorities. In the beginning, it's quite difficult because uh, this organization, uh, the city, we say that the, trans the mass transit authority take response, and the mass transit, tra mass transit authority, we say that the city, the municipality take response. But after two, three times that we have a dialogue, the city 
look at this issue carefully and uh, they speed up that, that road maintenance and they put state lights at needed place and discuss about where to pay the fine over with, with the communities. The public bus are observed running more frequently during the last hour, even though not as many as our expectations because the Bangkok Mass Transit Authority are waiting to buy new buses. But more importantly, the city officials listen to their voices and delight what are their issues. Now the issue of transportation, public transportation, is come to uh, their interest. And after that, then we realize that the, if we have a policy dialogue or policy forum with the city, we can work together. After we have another dialogue with the city on uh, public health services. So I think the platform to dialogue with the city officials is really, really important and really needed.